Hello and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast with me, Mr. Muck Luckaball, or a giant floating skull. Either one. Yes, it's part two, per se, of our Halloween special. And look at that! Look at that! Skeletons, uh, I mean, zombies already kind of inhabiting our house. That's lovely. Well done, zombie down there, who's very, very excited. Uh, I tell you what, can we quickly. Um, can we quickly jump in that bed and stop this rain? Because I do not like this rain one little bit. Sorry, you're dead now. Oh, we can as well. Look at this. Get rid of that rain. Go away. That's nice for an opening, but we want you gone. Let's turn this up as well. Oh, it's very, very quiet now. There you go. So, yeah, last episode, part one, we'll say, we made this thing. We made the house, the spooky mansion, the Phantom Manor, as it's called in Disneyland Paris. And it came out pretty damn good. Uh, I will admit, I've been a little bit lazy. I haven't actually done what I said I would. Um, and swapped out all the blocks for mossy tower wood and scaffolding. I haven't done that yet, but I have good reason, and I will tell you later on. We won't get into it now. But today we're going to tackle the insides, and I will show you what I've done in preparation. I've kind of just put down where the rooms are going to be. So you see, like, I've just kind of roomed off some some areas of the building. Like so. There's an upstairs here. Come up here. Then we've got a little upstairs here. And we have got an attic, but I don't know what to do with the attic yet. Have I run out of jetpack? No, I've just taken it off. Man, I look weird. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, I have got an attic, but I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I think I might leave it to you guys. Um, because I thought of all the rooms down there, maybe you can think of what we can do here. Lots of possibilities, you know. Attics. Spooky things. We've got this... Oh, get rid of that. Oops. Uh, lots of possibilities, lots of spooky things. We can have some maybe... Pillars of wood and... I don't know, you tell me. Any ideas what we can have up here? Maybe like a kind of... Dracula coffin? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm stuck. So I've got a few ideas for these buildings. Um But I really do think I've tried to do too much in two episodes. We'll try and get this done. Ooh. Wow, well, that's flying off everywhere. I will try and get this done. I really will, but I don't know what, what it's gonna turn out to be because I've got quite a few ideas. I've I've even named some of the rooms. Look at this. Bookcase. Kitchen pantry. Study, dining room, it sounds like a game of Cluedo, doesn't it? But I'm going to get started straight away. I'm not going to waste any time this episode, no time wasted at all. With spruce wood. I've got lots and lots and lots of goodies here to use. So many. Oh, so many. Okay. Spruce wood and some red wool. I'm thinking, and I'm hoping... Let me turn those. Oh, we've got some anyway. For a wall, we're going to use nice blood red. How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. I was trying to think of wall, wall blocks. No, not not wool, but wall, like the physical wall uh, blocks we could use. And it ended up being wool. <laughs> we're using wool for wool. Because, I don't know, if we had hardened clay, it would be perfect. It would be just perfect if we had hardened clay. But we don't. This is 1.4.7. We don't have any nice smooth hardened clay, so we're going to have to stick with what we've got. And wool is probably the next best thing, to be honest. So let's do... Oh, God. Yeah. Place the right block. I'll just show you what the design is that I want to do. So spruce along the bottom for a nice kind of... Um... Oh, they've got a name. I can't think of what it is, though. The little bit on the bottom of a, of a wall. I don't know, architect, I don't know. Yeah, that looks quite good. Not sure about the corner, we'll have to figure that out. And then... Red wattle top? Oh crap, this is half slabs. <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to have to fix that. That's okay though. Do I have any half slabs? No. I never do. Uh, uh, 
Okay, well I have. Oh, there you are. There we go. I know you were about to. You were about to moan at me then and say, "Joe, they were in that chest right there. You missed them." But I got them. I got them. <laughs> now I've just got to place them right. Oh my goodness! Look at this mess. There you go, like this. Oh, that's quite good as well, actually. That's that's another happy accident, like uh, last episode, because that looks like a kind of a uh, top bit to the wool, the wool, the wool wool. Oh my goodness, it's late. Okay, it's late. Um, that's another reason why I don't want to spend too long on this episode is because I, well, I'm recording this on the same day I want to upload it, and that's never a good thing to do. But hey ho. So what I'm going to do is kind of do as much of these walls as I can. I have a feeling I'm, I'm going to run out of uh, red wool. I only have three stacks of this stuff, so eh. we'll see how it goes. But I think it looks pretty good. Maybe what I was going to do is, before I realised that looks like a kind of top to the wall, I was going to do this. But now I can't. Ah, oh, I see. Maybe, maybe it still look quite good though, I don't know. Oh, if I do it right. Come here. Come here. Oh, well, you've... Yeah. Okay. You, you get what I mean. Maybe that looks... Oh, I don't like how you like... How you see the end underneath of that, though. Uh, I think that looks fine, actually. I think it looks fine without this. Because it may look a bit flat and plain. But... Oh, boy. But we're going to add things like paintings and tables and things like that and candles onto these walls. So that will kind of spruce it up a bit. <laughs> spruce it up. So what I'm going to do is get on with doing the rest of these walls. Try and get as much as I can done. And we'll be right back to do some of the rooms. <sighs> well, this is uh, this is very apt, isn't it? I've just had a witch spawn. Why is there a witch in there for? <laughs> oh, it's poisoned me. All I've done is I've wanted to go back. I wanted to go back and get some more wool to finish off the walls. And I turn around and there's a witch there. There's a witch. She's there. And now she's poisoned me. <sighs> Mind you, it is Halloween, I suppose. Where else is she going to be? Damn her. I want to keep her. Where are you gone, witch? There she is. <laughs> oh, man. Let's, go. Let's just go investigate very, very quickly. Very safely as well. Very safe. Hello. Why are you such an angry person? St ooh, ooh, okay, that's enough now. That's enough. Okay, by which. Okay, well, I'm back, and <laughs> I've just realised there's no way that we're going to get this done this episode. There's just no way, there's so many. I've made too many rooms, and I've got too much stuff to do. I'm sorry, guys, but let's think positively. Half cup full. We're going to do some cool stuff. Cool stuff anyway, so doesn't matter. So I, I guess... How are we going to do this? What's the first thing we should do? I think it should be making some candles. Let's, let's just make some candles now. Oh, goodness gracious. I will say, these candles aren't great, but they do fit more than torches, I suppose. I don't know. There are There are a couple of candles we could do. Where's my beeswax? 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 Oh, we need string. Oh, no. I have some left. Yeah, there are a couple of candles we can do. We're going to do... Just this plain plain one here. Candle. Which is string and a, carp uh, and a beeswax in a carpenter. And you get 24, which is quite good. But there are also these ones. Tallow candles, which are much, much better. You can't get any, uh, a recipe for them because they are... Oh, what's that mod called? Thorncraft. It's like the magical stuff. You have to make them in the uh, Thorminomicon. Stuff like that. So we're not going to do that because I <laughs> I haven't really done much with uh, Thorncraft. Only a little bit to get the brains in the jar for the skeleton place back there. So we're just going to stick with these. You know, they're okay. We might get some nicer candles at some point, but... There you go. We don't need to worry about that too much, really. It's just, it's just getting some spooky rooms done. That's all. We don't want to do the whole thing, super duper final 100%. Is that a carpenter? 
That's a centrifuge. Where is my carpenter? Oh my goodness. Everything's gone missing. No. Why? Uh. Anyway, I hope you're having a good Halloween. This should be uploaded on Halloween. Hopefully. Uh, time constraints are making that a bit tricky, but... I'll try my best. Hope you're having a good one. Or was that it? Okay, there's the fabricator. So where's the carpenter? I did not... Mm. I did not realise I'd lost it, to be honest. Uh, is it in here? Oh, 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 yes. Yes, good. Okay. Stupid carpenter getting lost. I don't generally do much for Halloween. I really don't. I'm a bit of a boring person. I just... I just stay indoors. Sometimes I... Well, when I was younger, obviously I'd go trick-or-treating, but... But not anymore. I'm too old and it would just be creepy. <laughs> Really? Uh, you go there and there. Good, you're turned on. So it was. But if you are going out, uh, trick or treat him. Do tell me what your costume was or anything. I'll be very interested to hear. Work. Do you need water? You sure do. Okay. Hmm, I have a bottle on me. Will this work? Come on. You know you want to work for me, if the world will even load. Oh dear. There. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, no, wrong one. Ugh. Oh, yeah! There they go. There they go. Oh. Yeah! Is it going to make some more? I think it's run out of water. 24 will do for the moment though. So as you can see, if I place one down, you'll see they're just exactly like torches except re-textured. Yeah, that's it. They're just white. But, eh, it's better than nothing. And I don't think they go out after a while. It would make sense if the candles do go out, but that would just be really annoying. Really annoying. Oh, and also, I don't know if I actually showed you how I finished off this building. Did I show you the back? I don't think I did. Well, like I said, it's nothing interesting. Just a big, uh, you know, flat wall there. Look at that. So, let's get rid of this rain. Because, oh, man, I hate the rain so much. I hate the noise and I hate the texture. If they changed it so it wasn't so ugly, it's ugly rain. This is ugly rain. I'm sorry, but they, we can have nice looking rain. They just they just haven't done it nice looking. But yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a block missing there, but still. That's really boring. That's why I didn't bother sh uh, doing that in that episode. But here's the sides. I think you have seen this. Man, then vines are growing. A lot. By themselves. I didn't realise they grew that much. Huh. Here's the roof. Why is that not... Ooh. Why is that not coming up? Why can I not go... Oh dear. What's going on here? I'm pressing Y to do... Uh, disable hover mode, but it's not working. That's a bit weird. I'll tell you what, Minecraft's been a bit weird in general lately, and I'll tell you why in a bit. But here's the roof. I have to finish that still. Just some tiny little bits I need to finish. I'm so lazy. No, it's not really that. I just I don't have any time with... Oh, with uni and work, it's very difficult to squeeze recording in. But yeah, that's about it really. And there's here's that side as well. This side I do like. I like the look of this. Very nice. Okay, so now we've got candles, we can light up. Oi! Oi! I'll be seeing you later. Don't you worry about that. I got a plan for you guys. <laughs> candles. They look quite good. Maybe one higher, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like that. That looks pretty good. Either side of the door. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's skeletons up there, isn't there? <gasps> oh, man. That's sure, that was weird. Let's turn the volume back up now. That's really low. Sorry, I've probably been really loud. <laughs> there you go. Uh... So yeah, just, I mean that looks a bit weird, we might fix that later on, but 
Here we go, and those are three rooms. Boom, boom, boom. I'm thinking one of them can be a billiard room. I'm just copying rooms from, uh, from Cluedo, to be honest. But billiard, you know, pool table, might go here, and a jukebox. Here I'm thinking a tiny little seance room. You know, seance with the crystal ball or the Ouija board. Yeah, that will look quite good. And over here, I'm not too sure. Not too sure. We won't get all the rooms done today, though, so it doesn't really matter anyway. I just want to get the good stuff done. Okay, so let's do this area here. I haven't filled this in with a... Well, actually, I might end up having to do that. But I haven't filled this in with a red wall yet because this is the bookcase. Ooh, what's so scary about a bookcase, you ask? Well, we're going to make it spooky. Oh, yeah. Uh, if we have enough room, that is. I've just thought, have we actually got enough room? No. I did not think this through. Okay, well, I'm going to have to have a quick cut and fix this wall. Hang on. Okay, wall fixed. I needed a uh, two block gap, not just one. So, what's going to go here, as the name implies, are bookcases. I've got a few here. I think I've got more in that chest, though. Because this is certainly not enough. Let's go grab them. And you may think, yeah, that's, that's a bit boring, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spook it up a little bit with uh, 18. Still not gonna be enough, I don't think. Mm, no, definitely not. But it's a start. Oh, hang on, no, it might be enough. Look at this. One, two, oh. Um. Uh, we really don't need that bit open. Eh. Okay, well we just we we close this off with uh, with red wall once we're done. So yeah, we've got a wall of bookcases here, and obviously I'll do that once we're done to close that gap. But I'm kind of stealing an idea from Generic B here, which is to um. <laughs> oh crap! Actually, I should have uh, done something first, which is to make the bookcases fly out like they're haunted, almost like um, if you played Super Mario 64, there is a level in Boo's Mansion where the books kind of fly out of the bookcase and they're very annoying and that's what we're going to do here, like they're like, haunted, you know, haunted books. So really what I should have done is put down um, these pistons first and I do not have my silk touch, do I have anything silk touch? Oh yes, my shovel silk touch, excellent. So maybe this one here, that one there, uh, that one up there, and that one here. All those are going to be spooky. <laughs> and you may be wondering, how are we going to do this? Well, I have an idea that might work. <laughs> I say might because I'm not entirely sure. But I think it will. It's what he did anyway, Generic B, and it seemed to work quite good. Quite well. So there's that. Put the bookcases back in there. Now, we have our, our pistons here ready to fire to give the effect. But how are we going to set them off? Well, a couple of them are quite easy. Like these ones on the floor, pressure pads will do. And maybe if we have a stair here, if we grab a stair, we can make him go up. Uh, one block and when I say him I mean the guy is going to control this for us very nice guy he is too maybe if we did that and just kind of pop that in pop that there and then that there that works that works these two we could maybe do with uh, I did bring some tripwire hooks with me because I thought these might work if we pop that there maybe and then oh pistons going off everywhere if we put a placeholder block of cobble there and this and then we put string all between that to hook them up did that do it? yep there you go yeah that's hooked up now it's not setting off these ones 
But maybe if I... Oh god, if I get out of this place, man, I've created like a little maze. Um, have we got any redstone here? Really need some redstone. No. Maybe redstone will fix it. Anyway, what I wanted to bring up was why I'm going to have to make this a little bit... Well, I'd like to really have the, the, the house done, but I just know that's not going to happen. But the reason why is because I wanted to do some recording yesterday, which would have been the Wednesday. But there was a problem with FTB. Basically, I went to go play and record, and the world would keep on crashing like 30 seconds into playing. Anything I did, 30 seconds in, it would crash. On this world, on backups I'd made, on creative worlds, same thing. So I figured, hang on, if it's happening on creative worlds, it can't be something... It just can't be something in my world. Like, I don't know, something's ticking too much, or the world is leaking in Mistcraft or something. So I was getting really annoyed. I didn't know why it was doing it. Um, then I tried reinstalling it into a different place, Minecraft, changing the file directory, reinstalling FTB, moving around the files, all that mumbo jumbo. Still didn't work. It was still crashing. I found out why now, and I've actually managed to make it stop. But let's just quickly hook this up, and I'll tell you why afterwards. So, if I put a bit of redstone on there, can I? No, but what if I did this? I'm such a redstone genius, this will work. Uh, uh, maybe? Or maybe not. Maybe if it goes, ah, one higher. Let's just put it one higher then. That would work. I think. Uh, tripwire hooks. Get rid of that stupid block. You're a waste. Is that? <laughs> I don't even know if that's working or not. Um, maybe? I think it is. That's that one. No, it's not. Oh, why are you not working? If I put a block there to... I'm no good at redstone. I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing this. If I was able to play yesterday, then I could have figured this out by now. But stupid Minecraft. I would have thought that would have passed a redstone signal this way, but... But obviously not. Oh, man. Uh, shift. Okay, well, I'll show you my plan anyway. I, we're, we'll continue nonetheless. Uh, the plan was to include... Go away. I hear you in the background. Shut up and go away. Get rid of all this stuff. Uh, snow and a pumpkin. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Ta-da! And then... Make sure you can't get out. <laughs> like that. And doesn't get stuck anywhere, like here he probably gets stuck. And there he probably gets stuck. So just block that all up, and then we just pop him. Him being a snow golem, aha. Uh -huh. Pop him there. There you go. And now he should, hopefully, just kind of move around this, this little gap here and make these go off at random. I'm really hoping he does. But when I tested it, sometimes they would just stand still for no reason. They wouldn't move at all. Come on, fella. I'll, I'll close you in. There you are. Uh, well, that might work. Hello. Go on. Get moving down there. Come on. Come on. We'll see. Anyway, the problem that happened with Minecraft was, and why it wasn't loading and kept crashing, there was a particular mod, I think it was Railcraft in the end? Or maybe maybe uh, IC2, either one. They had a special event going. 
uh, they had a special kind of a uh, thing going for Halloween where they would spawn in a mob with oh there you go there you go oh yeah oh oh he's staying on that pressure pad that's okay that's okay I guess yes yeah, fine um do we just want these ones up here to work as well so yeah Either IC2 or Railcraft would have a special event at Halloween where mobs would be spawned with special armour or Halloween themed armour. And there was a bug in that in that special event um, that made the worlds just constantly crash. So the way I got around it is, well there's two ways you could get around it. You could either set your game to peaceful, which is no good when we're doing a Halloween themed episode. I can't have a Halloween themed episode without mobs. That's just stupid. Yeah, I know. Or, uh, I have to trick my computer into thinking it's not Halloween anymore. If it's not Halloween, it doesn't... Oh, yeah. It doesn't uh, do the special uh, mob spawn. So, I've actually tricked it into thinking it's the 3rd of November. So, that's how I've got around this. So, that's kind of working. He is lingering a bit too long on some things, but... <laughs> He's not perfect, you know. I, th I think that's quite good. I just like how it's random. Every now and then it will, it will change. Anyway, moving on. What's the other... I, I probably... Do you know what I actually do? Let's just, in this episode, let's do the main spooky things that I have planned. And we'll do... I'll, I'll just kind of interior decorate it very, very plainly uh, off screen. Because, you know... It, Oh yeah, because uh, it is supposed to be a dilapidated and like abandoned creepy house, so it shouldn't really have a, a great interior design. Just some creepy things like that. That's pretty cool though. Next up is... Man, there's mobs everywhere. This thing. Well, actually, no, let's, 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 let's get more prepared. Let's get more prepared. Where is... Do, 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 do. Leather. There you go. And we will need some sticks. Okay. So we're going to make some item frames, which I probably already have, but you know. Make some more. Why not? Excellent. And we're going to make some spooky eyes. And you may be thinking, how are we going to make spooky eyes? Well, I was looking at eye. Typed in I, obviously you've got I of Ender, but we also have these things. Watch this one. I'm going to get shot. Now he's underground. But did you see that? They blink. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. So I want to do, I want to make one of these. And this one seems to be the easier to make. I of Ender. To do other stuff. This one has stuff like emeralds and empty void tier. This just that's too much. We only want it for its look. It does actually have a use though. Salamander's eye, it's called. Dispels blaze fireballs and reflects ghast fireballs while held. That's pretty useful. Puts out fires on and around you. That is really useful actually. But we're not going to use it for that. We're just using it for how it looks. So let's make it. Brought some stuff with me. Uh, did I bring the ender pearls? I sure did. And the gas tears I have. Where? There. Okay. So actually, I think I need. I think I've. Bugger. I haven't brought enough blaze rods. Poo. And I see you back there. I see you. Ooh. Don't blow up again like you did last episode. Screw you. Okay. So let's just make one. I'll make the other one off screen. Can I just do... That. And then it will do the rest for me. No, what am, I, what am I missing? Oh, the magma. Yes, the magma creams. Okay. Okay, now you'll do it, won't you? <gasps> yeah! And this is how we're going to make the spooky eyes. You see? Where can we put them? That is a good question. Uh, somewhere where we can see them. Maybe here? Yeah, they'll be pretty good. Because you kind of, you have to walk that way anyway, so... 
and obviously we have another one there. And look, they still they still do the animation. Oh, that's good in the frame. That's pretty awesome. I wish we didn't have to see the frame, but we have to. That's pretty creepy. I like it. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Oh, this, by the way, this little room here would be the way up to the attic. I'll make a uh, spiral staircase, probably. Up to here. But this is your room. This is your room, you guys. Give me something to put there. Yeah. And they kind of blend in with the wall as well. That's pretty good. So I'm going to make another one of those quickly. And also, I had second thoughts about these candles. Because we still want it to be quite dim. So maybe not as many candles than that. That's a bit oh, that's a bit overkill, I think. Maybe one every now and then. But not that often. That's too often. Yeah. Okay. So what was I going to do? Oh, I'm so forgetful. That's it. Make another one of these. I'll be right back once I've made another Eye of Salamander. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> spooky eyes that kind of follow you. Not really. But they are spooky eyes, at least. And once it's dark, it will look. It's because it's quite bright, they don't work. But once it's night time, I think that'd look pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. I didn't, I didn't really have that many ideas for kind of spooky things we could do. Really, I did want to get some stuff like. What was it? I just typed in red, because, you know, red, blood, scary. And I've seen what kind of stuff we could get. I really wanted to get this stuff. Red water, because it looks like flowing blood. And I wanted to have... That's good. Um, I wanted to have, like, a... You know, like in The Shining, when the elevators open, and the massive amount of blood just falls out and starts spraying everywhere. I wanted to do something like that, but I just can't... I don't think you're able to get hold of it. In FTB, which sucks. I wanted to try and get loads of kind of horror movie references in this building, but again, I was just really stuck. This is where I need you, your guys' help. Any horror movie references, I really want to get in. Like maybe Nightmare on Elm Street. I can't think of anything, but um, The Shining. I want to get in here. I know there isn't much space. We haven't really got much to work with, but it'll still be quite fun nonetheless. Um, I do want to put in one of the rooms, just a little. A little reference. Maybe this one, for example. Just put a little bit of red rum there. You know, you've got to have a bit of red rum. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, let's move on to the next thing. Which is, in this room here, which is the kitchen slash pantry. Oh, let's put in a floor, quickly. Let's quickly put in a floor. I did bring down some marble bricks and some basalt. For this, because you know, kitchens have tiled black and white floors, so like this. That looks pretty good, I'd say. That look that immediately makes it look like a kitchen, just straight away. That's a kitchen, or at least a different sort of room. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Like that. Okay, great. Yeah, that's good. So down here, you'll see, is like a little basement. And down here, we're going to have... Oh, I've kind of closed it off a bit. Or I should have closed it off more, really. Um, we're going to have a little, a, little, a little basement, but something a bit special to do with it. So actually, I've realised I need to... I need to close this off and fill in these gaps, which I forgot to do. Whoops. I'll quickly do that right now. Okay, well, I think I'm ready. So let's do this last little bit. Zombie, where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? Ooh! <laughs> man, oh, man, that was creepy. Where were you guys? Oh. And things. I look. I know this is a haunted house, guys, but you gotta stop spooking me out. Okay, so here we are. This is just the basement of the building, and I thought, what's a cliche? You know, what are all buildings built on 
in horror movies. Indian burial grounds. Yeah. So we're going to do some Indian burial grounds. Basically, all that means is we're going to shove a few dirt blocks uh, in places. I even brought some of these slab versions. Change up the terrain a bit. You know? Like a so. Which does mean it's harder to walk over and around this. But maybe that's... Maybe that's the effect we want, actually. But yeah, just kind of shoving, just randomly, you know. Uh, that's weird. Why is it... Oh, it's changing the stupid shutters up there, the trapdoors. I don't know what is up with that. Like they're so, We're so far away from them, yet they're still updating them. Probably some redstone bug that we're still stuck with, because this is Minecraft 1.4.7. Okay, oh, and maybe some gravel as well. I forgot about the gravel. And obviously we would change the ground as well. Like so. Oh, there's that guy above us. So yeah, you know, it's just some random stuff like this. Oh, oh no, we're above a cave apparently. And that's going to fall down. Um... There you go. So, I've made these to make as Indian burial grounds. You always see they kind of have like sticks poking out of the ground and kind of crosses in places. So we're going to do that. There you go. I mean, I don't think <laughs> I don't think crosses make much sense because that's a Christian sign, and I don't think Indian uh, Indian burial grounds are kind of based on Christian principles. But I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Also on these, we're going to pop some some heads. You know, like they've put the shrunken heads of the peoples who gr like graves are here. Maybe one there. Maybe a zombie head down there. It's fallen off of something. Um, this is pretty good though. Also, also yeah, for lighting because it's incredibly dark and you probably can't see a thing. We can hide some creepy lighting by using these redstone torches, which only give off a small amount of light. So if we do, actually let's hide one in there. Yeah, that's better. Just so it's kind of really eerie. Maybe one behind here. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, look at that effect. Mm-hmm. That one there is probably too bright. Where did I put you? You go way back here. In the ground. That's probably better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, shove some more sticks, a few more heads on them. Yeah, we can have like a little couple here, buried together. Oh, that's nice. Maybe another cross. Oh, oh. There you go. Just leave that gravel there. Why not? It's meant to be a mess. And one could go in front of that. One there. Skull. More sticks. Good, good. Liking it. And then, this is this is how we really make it into a proper Indian burial site. Horror movies. Zombies. We're going to put some spawners there. Yes, I'm sure you noticed these when I opened the chest before. But we've got a couple of spawners. Basically, I made some really rubbish soul shards. I made tier 1. So that's the lowest tier you can have. It only spawns a couple of zombies at a time, or a couple of skeletons, or a couple of mobs, whatever you've got at a time. But that's all we need. We don't need mobs rushing around everywhere. We just want a couple every now and again to uh, to spawn, just to give the effect of you know the dead rising. So let's pop in a let's pop in a zombie one. There you go. And also we pop one back here. Yeah, maybe here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's working. I think this is too light. Oh, no. Are they spawning? I don't even know. I don't actually know why they're not spawning. Huh. That's a bit weird. 
let's move you. Let's move you here. Maybe that's why. Maybe it was in the wrong position. Maybe you didn't like it there. Or maybe angry zombie spawners just don't work. I might have to replace that with a zombie spawner. Just a regular one. Because the skeleton one oh, is definitely working. Yeah, we're out here. Goodbye. And also, then that way, you get the creepy noises from underneath the floorboards as well. Apparently they've started fighting each other, I think. <laughs> you silly skeletons. Let's just finally make some trapdoors. So they can't escape. There you go. So now underneath we have our Indian burial ground with the dead rising. Oh, there, there's a zombie. Hello, mate. Oh, he's fast. Get out. Ooh. Yeah, okay, we're getting out of there. Oh. Okay, well, oh, there was one more thing I had. I'll quickly finish off with this. Uh, and that was for the seance table. We have a nice crystal ball here. Not sure where the the crystal... Oh, it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. It was in this room. Uh, in this room here, we could have... And that would be the crystal ball. <laughs> you know, use your imagination, okay? But okay, right. I think that'll probably do it for this episode. I wanted to get more done, but... And I would have more done if it wasn't for the stupid Minecraft bug that played me and a lot of other people yesterday. But you know, we got some bits coming. We got we got the spooky bookcase. We got the Indian burial ground. We got the the eyes up there. Um, but really, I want your suggestions as well for feed the beast related kind of tricks and and little little things and events we could do in this building. Because I think it would be really cool. You know, maybe some note blocks to make some spooky tunes. That might be quite good. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had a good uh, Halloween. A happy Halloween, or, or no, no, actually no, not a happy Halloween. I hope you had a spooky, scary, poop your pants Halloween, because <laughs> that's what it's all about. Well, not really, but it is now. So uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>